Yo, I didn't do nothing wrong. Yo, this drop in here the whole time. Take your hands off my friend. Yo, let me do my job. The scenario looks familiar. A stop and frisk on a street corner. But the action is not real. Those being stopped are actors, and the police frisking are in training. Journalists were offered a sneak peek Wednesday into the NYPD's new stop and frisk training course. Police say it's realistic coaching to solve the ills of stop and frisk. This course was originally designed to be delivered in April for about 1,500 of our impact officers. Impact officers are the most recently, most recent graduates of the police academy. Since they're the ones that are walking the footposts, they're the ones that are more than likely doing the bulk of the work in this area. Stop and frisk is a controversial NYPD policy that allows officers to stop and search anyone for reasonable suspicion. But the New York Civil Liberties Union reports that of the nearly 700,000 people stopped in 2011, 88% were innocent. The union said in a press release, the leadership of the New York Civil Liberties Union today cautioned that a stop and frisk demonstration for reporters in the Bronx was little more than stagecraft that will do nothing to reform a practice that regularly violates the constitutional rights of hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers from communities of color. But this new course, which was introduced in April, moves the scenarios out of a classroom and into the tactical village of the police training ground in Rodman's Neck. The imitation block and a half of City Street gives officers training as close to the real deal as they can possibly get. When we bring police officers through, we get a wide variety yeah. of stops. That's partly why they don't all end in an arrest. It's not easy to do. A lot of them go out there and don't quite know how they're supposed to handle the job, and then they have to go through it. One of the ways the police are tackling criticism of stop and frisk is by pushing courtesy. Citizens who are stopped and then released are given an apology and handed a card explaining why they were searched. Yes, please. No. Just because of this interaction, no? Yes. No. Can I leave? Yes, you can. Can I leave? Yes, you can. Thank you. All officers will participate in the new training course at least once a year. But as for the question of stop and frisk itself, the NYPD will continue to enact the policy only they say, with courtesy. What we're doing is basic fundamental police work. This is Kate Traficanti for the New York Post.